Game number one already started for today, these best of seven commands. And of course, if you take four maps, you get two points. If it's a 3-3 three, three in the end, you get one point. So who's currently on top of this $20,000 tournament? Quite excessive, right? But quite great as well. Happy! Four games played already, seven points. Four games played also for Chemico, right behind with six points. Big chance for Colorful today with a win. He ties up the score with Happy. Lawlight behind with five games already and three draws. That is excessive. One to zero and Lin right behind. Big points today for Lin and Focus and especially Soin at the very bottom of the table this weekend. He was uh, high up at the top of the World 3 Champions Finals. But here in the Riju Cup, things don't look too good. And this is why he has to step up his game today and bring the heat. But before we go into that Orc Mirror, we have Night Elf versus Orc coming to your home screens. And it is on paper the best Orc in the world currently in focus. I've been raving about his matchup versus uh, Orc for a long... Uh, versus Night Elf for a long time. Can you show it again? This weekend, he didn't have the greatest performance, but neither did Colorful, who was defeated there. And also, this is a rematch from the War 3 Champions Finals, where Focus was able to defeat Colorful. We start on... Lots of huge. Are under attack. Ooh, this is very loud to me. I hope this is fine for you guys. I'm gonna reduce it a tad. There we go. This is what we have to live with, um, but yeah, this looks like talents, doesn't it? Demon Hunter opening, last refuge. Oh, but Focus finds the Wand of Illusion. That's nice. If an archer pops, we'll probably be dead right away. Nice little trick. Causes some attention from Colorful. And in the, the meantime, the real Blade attack. Master and the real Grunts. They can creep, they can level up, get a sweet critical strike, get uh, the wind walk. Demon Hunter already with claws, that's sweet. Circle it on focus side. So far, so standard. I start to like this matchup again after, you know, being a little bit annoyed by this last tier one. As we see three different playstyles in this matchup currently. The mass hunt, mass archers is of course still there and a still prevalent. But we also attack. have faster openings by Orc, which results in Dryads and Bear play. Or on maps like this, you see Demon Hunter and Talon play. Is it still too loud? Oh yeah, right? It is. Better? Better or not loud enough now? You gotta tell me. I can adjust on the fly. No worries, guys. We're gonna get there. Better? Thank you, Dondo. Better? Nice. Okay. Better? It's good. Alright! Did you really cancel uh, the, the Patreon, Dondo? Over my bad joke this weekend? <laughs> Mariachi band is slightly distracting. Well, I guess that's in your head, my friend. Anyway, uh, Devotion Aura, kind of decent. Flute on the other side, also not that great. Of course, never underestimate the damage of walkers. And maybe even berserkers, as you like to mix in. But yeah, Devotion is quite nice, especially against the Blade Master versus Hero Focus, having that... Almost circled on every unit and every hero. Quite a treat for Colorful, who didn't really play his best, right? This weekend. War 3 Champions Finals, just never too great. Oh, he sold the food already. Uh, never too great for the Chinese, for whatever reason. Can't be the host, really. Maybe it's... Oh, what's the TC doing? Whoops, la. Threatening him a bit here and Beastmaster, so it is the typical talent play. We will be waiting for tier 3 of the Night Elf before there shouldn't really be a fight. It's a pretty... I don't want to call it pacifistic matchup for the longest time because people are slaughtering creeps and creep lives matter as well. But you know, they don't fight each other too much, except if one of them gets ensnared, that's the Shadow Priest gone. Boom, just like that. Focus again. 
with a tremendous Blade Master play. I think this weekend he had one or two off days where he couldn't really play his best. Looks like he's doing better, thus far at least. I need to level the TC, need to create some time. But you know, there's still the merchant, there's still the lab. He can creep. Tier 3 is so far away. And Colorful still needs to tinker. So, you can grab another coffee, you can get breakfast, you can scramble the mags. Ooh, focus. Damage is really good. Backstep damage, of course, as well. This is a huge chunk of experience, but focus! Asleep on the wheel! Or is he just waiting for the item? Okay, apparently... Ah, oh, the hawk is there now! Thanks to the level up! Ah, oh, there was a missed opportunity for focus for sure. Staff use. TC still level 1. There's no stomp nor shockwave. But okay, gets it now. Fairy fire used already. Mana burn as well, so we will see. Shockwave it is, but he can't get the kill miscalculated. But in the end, gets it, but major, major losses. Now on the high ground with heal wards. Quite a nice find. And master training it has just started. There's still no Tinker. And he's just going for the Demon Hunter, who has a big potion. Heal scroll on focus side to save the units, but how does he get out? I guess he sold the town portal earlier. That could result in a 10 supply loss for focus. Is there no Zeppelin available? He could have ejected long time ago. Oh, disaster strikes. I mean, yeah. He killed a couple of units, but talents are so easy to rebuild. An orc army isn't. It's all expensive. It all takes time. Horrible fight for focus. What was he thinking? A player's forces are under attack. Needs to get back up to 50. That was quite expensive. And of course, this matchup revolves a lot around items. Invo potion heal scrolls, especially. You can't really afford them before you're at 50. Colorful adds the Tinker now. We'll be up at 50 supply in no time. TC still no 3. I think with two major mistakes there. First, not getting the Ogre Mauler. Second, taking that fight. And now we got the Tinker. It is, of course, nice that the Talons were put off the map and can't regen mana at the moment. A lot of trouble. Well, everything is kind of possible in these fights as long as the Night Elf doesn't have an overwhelming army. Oh, this dude. What's Focus thinking about an expansion? Is he mad? Very, very high hero levels. I think this matchup revolves a lot around talent numbers and longevity of talents. Other casters of this team are of the opinion that uh, hero levels for the Night Elf matter a lot. I think it's a nice little Player bonus. The Demon Hunter level 4 definitely is. Quilby's level 2 definitely is. But you can win with 2 1 1 heroes as well. But you can't win without talents. Now it's time for Invo Potions. 50 supply. Talents on the map. Master training done. And Focus is going for Pillage, so probably dodging them fights. Critical Strike Ridiculous only at 100. Creeping is, of course, superb now. Cloak of Flames. I guess not the wildest item. Because he will be up in the air for the majority of the time. But we are on even footing again. Bad Rider Harass. Interesting. This is something we sometimes see against undead, but here, I mean, why not? Usually you have map control now as the Night Elf. Focus tries to take this away. It's not that much remaining on the map. I think red spot and three orange. 
And eventually, you can just staff one hero back and take the bat out that way. Whew, damage is adding up, eh? With the Berserker in the back as well. Walkers have quite some mana, but it's only four of them. Focus breaks upkeep. That could be the necessary supply, but it's also a choke that... Secures the talents, of course. Shockwave, decent, but not overwhelming. Invo Potion popped immediately. And whatever Colorful is focusing should die, but the Raider get a good connection. That wasn't too easy. Batrider is back in the fight. That Shockwave better, but also a Crow form dodged by Colorful, who's losing two units here. And focus with a magnificent fight, plus the heal ward. He had six of them. Still on the ground. Easy healing. Focus back. Focus is back and even has the lead now. Quite a big one. <laughs> KMS. Those midday casts are a great home office addition. Addition or addiction? Talents don't count anymore. I don't know. Talents do win quite a bit, especially on this map. Focus reacted nicely to it, I think. That fight was great. Talents couldn't really connect, weren't as safe as Colorful thought. Ah, we don't know the item yet. As he's not clicking. On the ooh, 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 ooh. Late Master 2 claws. And even more edgy from that red spot tome. It's all, it's all good. As I said, Night Elf can recover super quickly. With talents. You can render half of the Orc army useless. And with heal scrolls you can work quite nicely against it. This is still doable. And Colorful is of the same opinion. Add some fairies against walkers. That's some decent damage, but we got bad riders against it already. Second bad. I don't hate this. On this map, raiders will oftentimes clutter up. And you won't get the connection with only ground. You can either go for more range or flying units, which are great against fairies. Can get crow form talents. How far is the TC from Thrive? These massive shockwaves. This massive of, uh, massive of web destruction? No. <laughs> Weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> Could be a great help, but I don't know the experience bar. Town is under siege. Colorful with yet another scout. Nobody is really expanding. Nobody can afford that really. Lots of red dots on the map. It's especially vision given through bad riders. Guess Colorful is a little jelly of that end snare now. Ooh, yeah, quite far away from five. But heal scrolls and invul, Blade Master close to crit three, I guess. Oh, will it be Windwalk three? Could even be Windwalk three. Should even be Windwalk three, right? As you don't have so many hits. So critical strike isn't as potent as it usually is. And with Windwalk, you add that extra damage and you get that one guaranteed. So it's a little more precise. And of course, this entire time, Focus is spending an upkeep without there being any fight. So he's not doing anything with it. He's not securing an expo, he's not getting the ultra map control. And Colorful is just banking. A town is under siege. And why not? Ooh, justifies the means. Nice bad rider detonation. 
A colorful, he knows. Uh, I can't, you can't stay in no upkeep anymore. But he has all the resources. Can he reach? Okay, that was ambitious. Oh, what's that? Three talents not part of the town portal. Crow form saves only one out of three. And wait, how is Colorful so supply blocked? Am I getting dementia? Sapper? Ha! Didn't see that. Nice. Real nice. That's a sick play, actually. Expansion upper left. Wow. Threatening the fight on the left hand side, buying a sapper with the bat. Focus, 150 IQ. Maybe 200. Saw it on the minimap. Ah, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that is of course uh, now the moment where you notice that I don't have the camera control, right? Otherwise, I would have caught it, of course. Ah, uh, no! Okay. The stream obeys. As should everyone. And that's the right play. There's nothing to do on the map. Colorful, with his low supply, can only stay in his base. He had to spend a couple of resources to get the moon wells back. And focus just expanding. And then he can stay on the high ground. Good luck conquering this. With talents from the low ground. It's impossible. I wish there was a way to play Talon versus Orc, but with heroes that allow orb stacking are you really so restricted on beastmaster and tinker i always feel they are very 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 underwhelming heroes in this matchup oh my god is it four berserkers i guess he regrets selling that flute now Naga is probably too squishy, but you could play mana shield. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, here we go. Is that the big one? So many fairies. Are they even in range? I'm not too sure. Here come the bad riders, but of course there's a myriad of armor on these fairies. And he heals them all back up, so the bad riders all died in vain. Mass cyclone on the berserkers, but all dispelled with one. What a crazy fight this is. Colorful at 60 and dropping TC. No mana. Four healed scrolls on one hero. <laughs> when do you ever see that? But he can't use the scrolls properly. It's still 70 supply and the level 5 TC. New fairies, but he's barely using any mana. Look at the walkers. Now hits one, but very, very careful with that. Knowing how strong this AoE could and will be. Raiders get a connection. Tinker level 3. It's colorful. He's holding his ground in this fight, man. But for how long is the question? There's not much money more now. The Talon's all trapped. The Demon Hunter staffed last second, but I guess the other heroes. It's just desperation at this point. Fairies don't add too much, really. That was a fun fight, though. Totally crazy. It is level 6, Blade Master. Give me a crit. Come on. RNG is not with him. But there's not much left. Focus lost so much. 
Uh, they have heal scrolls on. He could use the heal scrolls pretty much all the time. Not a perfect fight by focus by any means. Blade Master Low. Next heal scroll here. <laughs> Little wisp wall. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, that was the hardest part. When there was so much Cyclone. Raiders take care. Level 6 on the TC as well. And I guess the next crit is the GG. 232 focus. Takes this 1 and 0 for now. Very, very, very important point for him. <laughs> yeah, rarely do you see this matchup played like this. Fun to see talents every once in a while. Cool play. So many... So many fairies. I don't think... They had the biggest impact. New Coldplay fan, that was the hardest part. <laughs> Not really, to be honest. Never really got into them. But very patient play by Focus here. Um, after being down in the first fight. He kind of botched that, but Colorful invited him back, gave him the time to rebuild, wasn't really able to push. So that was that. And then Focus crept a lot, Focus stole so many items. Expo was up, all the consumables in his hand. Yeah, Focus. He only has one win and one draw at the moment. At three games but everybody is currently settling to four games if he takes two points here he's at the same score as colorful and law lion but yeah that was the one off map where we will see talents I'm still not 100% sure if we have three different maps played twice or if here we got six different maps as everything will be played on netties who knows yeah, very wild very chaotic tc not the biggest impact i think the burns were good as they are so often with colorful he was once again the beast in this matchup. So map two is up. Ooh, tight hunters this time. So focus, show me the fast here. This should be definitely keeper, of course, on colorful side. A player's force Did he click on the altar yet? Maybe I missed it. But um, I would be so surprised if this is the Blade Master again. And Focus, I would say he's the best at playing Farseer versus Night Elf. He kind of, I don't want to say invented this strat, but made it popular and made it successful. It's always hard to say who invented what, but yeah, Farseer it is. Okay. Focus has also very different styles to play this one. Grunts into headhunters or grunts into tag. Does he want to play shadow hunter serpent wards with raiders or does he want to play something else? Cool to see lots of options. Even if you are deciding for one hero, you still have multiple paths you can walk. 
We've seen the same map on fourth and first, uh, first and fourth game, even when playing only on netties. Yeah, but also five different maps or four different maps. It's kind of weird. I don't know how that works. It's uh, beyond me. I stopped asking. So, Summoner's War, as it is Trian's first no entangle. No Warmill yet. Committing to two grunts. Are under I wonder why. It's up to the players, but they are allowed to pick the same map after the first three games. Uh -huh. Yeah, weird rule set, but this feels like do whatever you want. <laughs> but hey, we're happy about the tournaments we get, right? Any lasted would be gigantic because it prevents entangle, but he didn't get it. And now the dynamic of this matchup changes a bit. Farseer harass can be stopped on the cost of mana. Grunts creep in the meantime, so Farsia should be level one and a half. No! Under attack. Couple of hiccups, but that's fine. Good creeping by Colorful. Feels like he's accelerating faster than his opponent. Hunter Saw coming, but there's no expansion yet, if I'm not mistaken. Fassier now has the Chain Lightning available. In the oh, the arm was already in the air. Then the Entangle is in. Sweet timing. Colorful. A player's forces are and he can't get the kill thanks to Moon Juice. What? Okay, I uh, was hinting towards Shadowhunter and Raiders. Now we see double bestiary and a TC. Against the Keeper. You can't play Wyvern. They die instantly. And Raiders get entangled. Just like this. Oh, focus a little careless. Demon Hunter second. In anticipation of... Did he see the TC already? No, right? I mean, the Demon Hunter is kind of nice against TC as well, but I guess he expected a Shadow Hunter. As one should, as it is the norm. So this could be pure base race with Shockwave TC and Mass Raiders. And Colorful, this is an absurd amount of archers. Don't you have to switch to something else like... Dryads and Bears and stuff? Okay, doing it now. But what a commitment to that tier one. And Raiders it is. I'm not too positive that this will have a happy end. For focus. Mana, there is. Decent creeping on the Demon Hunter, decent creeping on the TC. <laughs> oh man, using the Raiders now to control this. Demon Hunter not 3 yet, but TC also no Storm. He just want to fight it straight up. Grunt damage is real nice. 
Every intent snare should be a kill if he gets the time, but colorful eject. And that is the middle. <clears throat> a player's forces are under attack. This should lead to very high hero levels for focus soon. Colorful still needs time, needs to produce, his laws were kind of late thanks to the heavy commitment on archers. Tech didn't start yet really. I mean the master train tech and bear tech itself. Tier 3 tech did start. The unit are quite a beast. But how often will there be a straight up fight? I think it's rather rare. Focus wants to dodge that by all means necessary. Okay, Master Bear training coming. Smells like a base race to me. Ladies and gentlemen. You in for that? Are you buckled up? Things are getting a little wilder than before. Players forces are under attack. There we go. Speed scroll. Is he just going for the tree? Are you mad? How can this work? I mean, there must be pillage at this point. Can't check it at the moment. <gasps> he can't get a connection. It's working. Trying to save the Farseer, but even if the Farseer dies, not the biggest deal. Uproots, shockwave, and he kills the tier three. Surgical strike by focus all was leading up to that very moment and now it's one base zero base no tag Oh my god colorful he was not ready for that at all He can still build his units right Dryads and bears Walker's coming now, transitioning. Yeah, with that gold lead, Town is under siege. he can easily afford this transition. A player's forces are under attack. Colorful, how do you get back? Like, every second at the moment is an advantage for focus. Also, there was 10 supply. He can't build anything. We can only build dryads? No bears without the tech? A player's forces are under Yikes. Are the bears master? Yeah, 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 they are. He researched it. We, sh we, s we saw the research and if, like, if he didn't cancel it by accident, then the bears are master. A player's forces are under attack. But yeah, that second base by focus. Colorful can still not produce anything. All the gold he has goes for the next tree. Oh my. I mean, you have to fight with Shockwave now, which is not too perfect. There you see the Master Bear, the rest of the bears is basically used as medics. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, Gockel, thank you for the two euro donation. Oh, you didn't see that on screen, actually. Let's do it again. Colorful, 
Not giving this up. Plays it as safe as he can. Treants do some damage. Ooh, can they cancel this? No. Shouldn't. It's again insane map control by focus. Just like on map one. It's not for nothing. Colorful can actually fight because the keeper demon hunter combo is so strong. <laughs> this ball. Very close. This needs some repair. Focus plays this moon elf style. Just expand everywhere. Oh, it's a kill. <laughs> I think focus is not that far ahead anymore. I don't know. Treant's OP. No, just protect it better. He has walkers with dispel. And I guess, uh... He's expanding at the bottom left now, and Colorful is not really expecting this. Killed once again a Moonwell, so Colorful can never go up to 50 currently. But at some point, this expo has to work. <laughs> oh, can they reach? Run, P. <laughs> Protected by trolls. Nice. See? Treon's OP. They can't even kill a peon. Chad wrong. So, I don't know if Focus has the necessary forces to fight this. One bear down. He seems to be of the opinion that he has with lots of walkers and magic damage and colorful. He's not saving anything thus far. TC with the shockwave against the archers. There is Illune's Grace, so he doesn't take full damage from that level 2 shockwave, but right clicks are enough afterwards to clean this up. Would love, love, love to have a heal scroll now, does he? I don't know. No, he doesn't. Oh, this could be 15 supply falling for focus. Or nothing. And now the archer down. More archers down. All oh, the wolves get a double kill. That shouldn't happen. And he can heal everything up for so cheap. Plus the expo is up. Things are going from bad to worse for colorful. Yo, 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 DL Dwyer, 300 bits. My favorite announcer. How can someone get any better? Well, I could expand on my vocabulary. I uh, could get a hair transplant. Mm, could take impro comedy lessons. Guess that would be ways to get better. Can a sloppy gameplay, not gonna lie. Right? I thought so too. Like, uh, on both sides though. This is by no means a perfect game on either side. But for focus, things are looking good. Another 300 bids. Vocabulary this. Amazing. Well, Sonic hammered that into my head a couple of years ago. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Puts a smile on my face. You're a gem. A player's forces are under attack. To be fair, how is Colorful supposed to get back to this game now that the second base is up? Every Dryad will get wrecked by Ensnare Focus Fire. Did he get to the shop? I mean, the Blade ma uh, the Blade Master, the Farsi is kind of used at this point. Uh, so is the TC, he's just a walking aura. But Raiders are the real heroes now. Okay, there was a heal scroll. That's 9 supply just wiped out. 11 supply just wiped out. 
I guess we're just waiting for the tap out currently. If he stays in that fight long, the poison damage might add up well. Uh oh, and snare, keeper, in wall. But that means the demon hunter can't get out, and that's the hero kill focus. Not wiping the floor with colorful, like without losing anything, but boom, that's game, baby. And focus, big points. First LR, then tight hunters. Two very solid matches. What can I say? Wasn't really in a position where he was about to lose this, right? That surgical strike. There was a sweet surgical strike on that tree. Worked well, looked good. And from there on out, just a lot of routine. Just a lot of routine. Wonderful. So, one map away from one point. And one point for focus would mean that he's tied up with 1 to 0. And colorful. He had such a great start into this league with wins over Fly and so in. Both 4 0, by the way. Like, colorful was slaughtering orcs. He got a 3 3 against 1 to 0, but uh, focus says, man. I'm the best orc versus night elf in the world and nobody's even close. And he shows it again. I'm gonna refill my coffee. And then we're back with map number three. Colorful versus focus. Let's go game three, everybody. There we go. Focus with a 2-0 lead. And we have a blade master this time. Against the Keeper, so third different matchup. Important last hit here. We're a little late to the party. Focus, this is wild. This is risky. Gets it. Will he survive? Entangle. Windwalk. Dead. Oh, man. We're tuning into the right second. Wasn't that just... Super suicidal. A player's forces are under like, attack. he was solo. Was that worth it, really? I mean, preventing level 3 is always a big part. Is this one camp... Uh, what, this one creep, does that deny level 3? If that's the case, and I think it is... That might be good. Players' forces are under attack. I mean, you can't do anything with the grunts anyway. It's just a couple of steals with the blade master. It might be a little late, but yeah. Oh, it is level three actually. So not the greatest delay. Kind of for a little out of position. Focus cancels this, but he shouldn't. There we go. A couple of hits. That's fine. Huh. So, is this the best early game for Colorful thus far? Blade Master still level 1. Not the greatest items. Hunt's transition already there. And still not the end of the world, of course. Not the craziest delay on anything. No grunts falling. And colorful... Not playing any Ancient Protector stuff. Uh, yeah, this, I mean, most orcs got so good against that with scouting that oftentimes it doesn't work anymore, but if it does, it's so good. It, wait a minute. Is it not entangling? 
Is this tree? Ah, there it does, but immediately cut down. Another play that Focus kind of made popular and plays it very, very successfully so for a long time. So force the reaction while you want to play your power spike with Keeper and Alchemist. Focus definitely coming back without an expansion. What do you really do? He's still claiming the middle, but we got Purge now. That is a little bit of freedom for orcs every single time that happens. And a Wyvern early. Usually a CH special displayed more and more. For vision, for damage, for creep speed. I don't hate it. But the Alchemist level looks good. <laughs> Compared to that abomination of a profile for the skeleton. <laughs> oh my god. That's... The, uh, <laughs> I didn't see that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy Blade Master in focus again Needs a heal wave soon Okay Covers the life of the Blade Master Oh grunt Okay Colorful finally gets <laughs> What the hell is this even? Players forces are under That's attack. not the normal model, is it? I mean, we know the Chinese are kind of uh not displaying bones and blood in their games. But did they really remake the model for this? I don't know. Oh boy! Ogre! Ah! Goes down. Alchemist steals the item. It's quite a big one. Miss chance against hero focus. Always nice to have. But it feels like this Wyver and the Serpent Wards, they're just cleaning this up. And this is again... Focus patented play with Raiders throwing an end snare on a hunt. And then there's some kind of piercing damage. In this case, Wyvern plus Serpent Wards. And he just gets the kills. But I feel like the Blade Master is too squishy here. Acid Bomb can be so good. Kodo gets a snack. Nice. Colorful is not there at the critical mass and he's still on tier 2 as well if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Blade. Not focused at all. Clutch Shield Wave. And man, is it just me or is this not Colorful's day? Heal wave again, forces the town portal. Nice defense by Focus. <gasps> and the archers join in. Where were the archers? Why were they not part of this fight? Okay, um, we don't have to question. If this is not Colorful's day, it's definitely not Colorful's day. Starting on map 1 that went to show and then map 2, kinda easy to strike his tree, which should never ever happen. Yeah, with that fight he can counter expand. And then if the Night Elf doesn't have a base or tech advantage, Future doesn't look too bright for Rumo's favorite player. Hmm. 
The number of raiders rising. Oh, sapper play. Kaboom! Not sure if he cancelled it even. That was a nice one. Okay, colorful. Now we're talking. Forces this fight as well. Shaman exposed. Moonwell does not go down. Uh, all of a sudden, there's these clutch plays by Colorful. What the hell? Where is this coming from? Is the damage still enough? Lightning Shield hits a lot. Especially with the Blade Master in the middle. But Colorful has had 61 supply. And I guess there's no way out. For focus, is there? You can try. But there's always Entangle. Very limited mana. Three units might drop. As hunts are rather fast. And this blade. If there's a reveal. Oh, there is. Oh, no. Who has another invul potion to commit? And he didn't rebuild this expansion. Okay. That was one minute in this game. And all of a sudden, everything is open up again. For Colorful to strike back. To claim that 2-1. Yeah, he can be the aggressor now. He can bring the fight to focus. Let his expansion pay off. Maybe even get tier 3. And once he's on tier 3, that game is done. Because I still struggle to see how orcs are supposed to fight tier 3 night elf with mass archers. And upgrades. And of course a few ones to soak up damage. Needs high levels. Needs items. Needs army, kind of needs a counter expansion as well. Focus needs so much. Guess he needs a great fight or a sapper play of his own. That sapper play bought the time to defend at home. Got rid of the expansion, of course. Oh, level 4 alchemist. Nice experience deal by Colorful. All of a sudden, he flipped that switch and things are looking good again. And the performance is good again as well. But let's see how this fight goes. Instant hero focus. No mirror image, but another clutch save. Good retreat so far. Must save the Kodo. A player's forces are under attack. Oh. How does this Blade Master survive? He doesn't, right? A acid bomb damage is stacking up. Blade Master. Oh my god. Definitely out of the fight. Damn colorful. That was a strong comeback with basically two plays. That's the Blade Master down. And colorful finally gets a game out of this. That was absolutely necessary to strike back. Northern Isles goes to the Night Elf. Two and one. Focused so far. Not securing this one point that he so desperately needs to catch up with 1 to 0. That's nice. Sapper play actually genius. Without that sapper play, that game is definitely going in favor of focus. Raiders are awesome. They counter the alchemist. What? How? They are worth so much damage just from canceling heal spray. perfect world yes but I mean the alchemist gets at least one wave of heal spray out I don't I don't know I think he overdid them a bit But I don't think that was that was the mistake. Losing the expansion, not cancelling it, not getting the resources back, and then this botched attempt of killing the base. 
the second base of Colorful. That was the real problem here. Knight of tier 1 greater everything. That's not true. You need the tech. You need this expansion to work. You need them in masses. You need a 10 supply and 15 supply lead. It's not that simple. It's all about timings and, in general, all the compositions. It's like a puzzle game. The puzzle pieces have to be put together. As we... Whoa! Immediately! Looks like a rematch, but it isn't. Second map on Northern Isles. So it feels like we are using the three maps. And it's just the same. So, without that Sapper play and without losing the Blade Master early, how does this game go? Digging the ball. Look, thank you! Shaved yesterday. Just for you guys. So, Focus, I think he will learn a lot from the last game. And look, it was a couple of 50 50 decisions. That didn't really go his way. In general, I think he's still executing everything better. But Colorful, he's finding his rhythm. Not to be underestimated. Like, if he plays the way he played the second half or the third... Uh, the, the, the last third of map three, he can turn this around. He could turn this around even to win the four maps in a row. Forces are under attack. I think this tour would be more fun if they played six different maps. Yeah, the idea is that you have a home and away server. Especially with Foggy and Happy in. And then you play the map on both servers once. In general, I think our War 3 Champions hosting is a lot better than this home and away server system. And then six different maps, yeah, would be great. Not to praise myself or my admin team too much, but I think War 3 Champions hosting is just miles and miles ahead of what they use. So, Blade Master Harass again, it's a little different from what we've seen before. Keeper is already moving over to Harass this time. And the Blade Master is not in danger at all. How was he so low last time? Guess Keeper and Tangle, huh? Okay, it's in striking distance of the expansion, which is coming up at the 12 o'clock. Adis, thank you for the sub! Moin Meister! <laughs> Am I, uh, Röhrig here? Thank you. After the series, of course! Probably the most hyped Orkmara at the moment on the planet, so in verse Lin. Ooh, this Blade Master can He's once again very hurt. Nice hunt scout. Really nice. But again, no wisps on the map, right? No AP instead. He's rather stealing creeps with the keeper. And it's a very different game from what we've seen before. Are we back to tier 1 expo? Seems to be the play. 
uh, for a lot of night elves, huh? I thought so too. But with the roaming keeper, you want to prevent these grunts to creep. So it's a smart move by Colorful to show presence here in the south. If not with an AP, then with a keeper and a tangle. And I guess the blade is just too late. Expo already finished. Are under attack. But I guess he doesn't have the damage, right? That would be insane. Level 1 and Tangle really shouldn't result in the kill alone. But it is, isn't it? Oh, so ridiculous! Well, okay, a couple of questions here. Is it again the Alchemist? The answer should be yes. Will this expo go up unpunished? Can he creep as much as he did before on map 3? A player's forces are under attack. Just make XP based on hits, lol. But that would greatly benefit range heroes and attack speed heroes. <laughs> That feels a little unfair. Also, how does Cleave count as a hit? Are under how does an AoE spell count? I think you didn't think this through. But hey, maybe you did. And I'm just uh, simple minded. I definitely am simple minded. But this feels a little ill advised. Very, very, very calm mid game. Understandable, but no risk at all. Focus place is a little tamer than before. But Colorful is getting the kills. Look at this Wiz block. Excellent. And he can buy so much time with this army comp now. He decides to go for this attack rather than the creeps in the middle. Focus didn't expect this. Boom. How about XP on damage? But some heroes are support heroes or healers. Not every hero is meant to do damage. For example, how would you count True Shot Aura? Technically, indirectly, it does damage. Or if a Holy Light enables the Mountain King to survive and get a clap out. Isn't the Holy Light then super important, but won't give you XP? Anyway, Colorful is smashing this game. Focus is losing way too much. It feels like he's getting a little tired. I mean, it's oftentimes his play here, as we see, to shut down the Untangled, but isn't he losing too much in the process of this? Always up for new ideas, by the way. Don't get discouraged from my criticism. Uh, just giving you food for thought what to also think about. Yo, Dennis, what's up, mate? Roni test still with two bars? How's it going?
<laughs> I love this plate master. This plate master literally has one job. Just stand there, sharpen the knife a little bit. He's a gardener, basically. Get rid of the tangles. Okay, big move of focus. Take me one of the mid camps away. Not moving it uh, into the XP bar of Colorful. And we have a fight. This is this is pretty even. The expansion didn't pay off at all. Just sunk costs so far. Focus also. Not the perfect army since he lost so much. But he goes mirror image. Alright. And no crit build then. And he threw a lot of damage, Colorful did. Onto these illusions. But Colorful is nicely moving out of Serpent Ward range, mostly. Archers are safe. Blade Master gotta be real careful, but has this invul. Man, this is a little reminiscent of game two, but the other way around. I felt like Colorful has this game. Oh, there's the invul. Colorful has this game and plays it super nice, but then there's the first fight. And it turns around. Pretty similar to how it was last game, just the other way around. Oh, that's major losses. If this covers... Oh, Alchemist! Alch he has no crit, so he can calculate this. Pass the TP, all good. Um, if this covered the expansion for the rest of the game, worth it. But both are on even supply now. That's exactly what the Orc wants. Still in bad stream till past three yesterday. <laughs> nice. Players' forces are under attack. Oh, we got tier three. So not only did this fight cover for the expo, it also covered for the tech, which we haven't seen last game. So even supply is totally fine. Get orbs, get a third hero, get more and more archers. And this is the state where I think this is unbeatable, is especially on tier two without a TC. People will mock me again for saying stuff is unbeatable. But have you seen a good solution to this with Blade Master Shadow Hunter? I didn't. Lots of wisp. The first detonates. This is something that's clearly missing in Colorful's play thus far. Detonates on Shaman. But it was a low echo game, Blade. <laughs> So little mana. Can't stay. Unfortunate because he spent so much mana on Serpent Wards. And they're supposed to do something. And he's supposed to do get, get something done here. But he's not. And I think Colorful evaluated this perfectly. The po Is it the bottom stuck? No. Yes, he is. Lol. Ah, he's gonna figure it out. He got the uh, force of nature. He can open up the trees. At least she's, she's safe. Nobody will harm her there. If you would keep me stuck between two swimming pools and an altar, I would be fine. Well, maybe not locked in with a saber tooth, but if it's my saber tooth, probably. I don't know. The town is under siege. So, Colorful has the only problem that one of his production buildings got killed. Are under but that's it. Oh, and here are the deados. Man, colorful. Did you have your coffee? Did you finally wake up? This looks like a different gamer than the first two matches. Who's the best orb carry range heroes with fast attack speed? Precisely. Ah, 
I mean, there's also melee heroes that are good orb carries, like a Blade Master, for example, but if you want a rule of thumb, yes. Also, uh, heroes that have channeling spells aren't the best orb carries, because if you channel your spell, you can't attack. And the sea charges are here. Ay ay ay. Focus, I think this series will be tied up. So far, Colorful only, quote unquote, winning the Northern Isles games and doing well in the Northern Isles games. And the maps that Focus won will come back, tower down in like no time. Very little mana on the Shadow Hunter. And this is just this absurd mass of damage from these fragile units. You can't really reach or focus. No lightning shield. He's going for the bottom, but if it's on the cost of the blade master, not worth it. Boop! Trading a tier one for a tier three hero. Take it any day of the week. And without that damage, screw that game. Archers are falling. Wait a minute. That's a lot of archers falling. They are relatively easy to rebuild, of course. 135 uh, gold. But colorful. Did he get a little too sure of himself? Moving the grunts past the blocker line and using them aggressively. That was sweet purge. Lol, focus, you madman. Blade Master back, 52 supply, wait a minute. Didn't even use too much lightning shield. Also sloppy by colorful to not use shadow melt on that hunt. And it's two ways, two ways. How? The second the grunts weren't attacking the hunts anymore, but the archers, everything shifted. Bonus XP for the Shadow Hunter. <laughs> true, true. That was a lot of XP for the Shadow Hunter. Keeper gets the item and yeah, as you see, Colorful is already back to 70. Should focus tech, play it safe. He has the second base up. All he has to do is hold. A player's forces are under attack. Maybe another tower. Maybe tier three. Colorful heroes are safe. And the army is slowly but steady, a bit overwhelming when it goes to 80. Owl Scout, of course, super nice. Scouts out for focus as well. And Colorful comes in again. He will be flanked, probably. Could be, theoretically, early access to these archers, but that, like the damage, he, has, he can force a town portal. He must force a town portal. He can't fight this, really. Players forces are under attack. No red spot claimed yet, by the way. Alright, let's see what he can do this time. A lot more lightning shield than before, as there's no wisp detonates here. Colorful is respecting this. 
doesn't want to lose as much archers as possible because when the archers are gone, you can take care of these hunts. Level 4 on the Blade Master. Does he have an item? Yes, in Woo Potion it is. Grunt's trying to block, trying to cover the retreat, or to, to uncover the retreat, but the Shadow Hunter, level 5. He's got to heal so much in this fight. Not too sure where this is going. Still 65 supply by focus, but rapidly falling. Thanks to the bouncing glaives, everything hurt. Heal scroll or oh, beauty. Beauty heal scroll from, uh, by Colorful. And how long can he stand in this fight? Again, he took care of so many of these archers. Put him in trouble once more. Boom, 160 crit. Yeah, baby. Mirror image gets out of there. Oh my god, focus. This fight could be game winning good. If the heroes are in. The Shadow Hunter is close to six. Now he needs to heal. He needs to heal super fast. But retreats, got the potions. And Colorful will be the one exactly to mine out soon. And it's. Yeah, how much gold is there? Thank you. 4200. The moment Colorful isn't on two bases, things get problematic. A player's forces are under attack. Wow, I'm super impressed with focus. Level 5 Shadow Hunter helped, so in hindsight, losing the Blade Master was one of the best moves of the entire game for him. <laughs> Is he too ambitious now? Is it too brave to go offensive here? Nice staff, but of course that's a staff for an archer. The Blade Master in the middle of everything. But needs healing. Wonder how equipped the Shadow Hunter is. If there's my Oh, double mana potion. Nice. And that's level 5 blade. I told you it was, says Armin. Yeah, who would have thought that you were right for once? Dude, Focus is just wiping the floor. Level 6, that's level 3 Serpent Wards on top of the level 3 heal wave. And Lightning Shield everywhere. How the Wisp Detonates are so severely missing throughout the past... Last quarter, last third of this game. And Colorful is getting completely destroyed. Now the Wisp come in. But the lightning shields were already done. It's too late. For the Shadow Hunter. There's a mana potion. He lost the entire army. Incredible to realize this by focus. That the Wisp detonates in every single fight. Except one. Were missing. And he's down to the heroes and one archer. Kudos! Kudos, focus! And what are these units doing there? Why are they here? There's no reason for them to be at that stage! <laughs> Gonna fall, it's okay! But one crit is the end! And it is the end. Level 6 won't help him for the Keeper. Uh-uh. It's Orc Day today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that is a big, big, big point for Focus. Turning this one around. There's, of course, still the chance for Colorful to win the last remaining two maps and tie this up. Level 6. Wonder if he goes Bladestorm. Level 7 Shadowhunter. GG. 
focus three and one for the majority of this game it really didn't look that way it really looked like colorful got this in the back uh, the expo worked out after a while the tier three transition was good i think if he just brings wisps to the fight that's it But now, Colorful uh, lost that map. His focus gets a point. It's now four points. Ties it up with 1 to 0. If he gets one more, he ties Colorful and Lawliot. With Lawliot having one game more than him. So, yeah, that is a big point match. One more map for focus. That should be the Tight Hunters again. Or Last Refuge again. Go into a tiny little break and then we have the deciding map coming up. Be right back. Perfectly or what? Here we go. Match points for focus. Two chances for a match point. And that is Tide Hunters, where he displayed a beautiful, beautiful raider attack on the tree of Colorful. And he's gotta be he gotta be careful with that, of course. Other, if, if this doesn't work, he's losing the game because of it. Will he just play it again? I don't think so. That should be a once in a series play. Maybe even once in a month play. But isn't it fascinating how colorful four O's fly, four O's saw it. And now he meets his master in focus pretty clearly again for the second time in a row. Doesn't matter what Remo says. Focus is the best orc vs night elf in the world. And I think it becomes more and more evident. Almost losing the archer here. Instant pressure into the base. Oh my. That's a Wisp gone. Archer saved for now. But that's a lot of Moon Juice, and Moon Juice is rare. That's the tier 2 tech covered. Once again, Grunts. Not this one Grunt into Headhunter play. No, just pure Grunts. Yeah, he's getting. Might be getting Wolves, but level 2.5. Clear priority in preventing level 3 for this Keeper of the Grove. It works out fine. Works very fine. A player's forces are under attack. Early expo again. But you know what? I wouldn't hate if Focus is going for a tower push this game. Since Moon Wells are so dry. And the Keeper progress so late. A player's forces are under attack. Creeping begins because the keeper can't do anything. Gotta cover this. Oi, 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 oi. Fasia is getting a little too much done here early. Good block though, but it's constant damage, which is constant uh, moon juice consumption, which reduces the number of entangled and treants that he can summon. Almost reaching for another entangle doesn't work. This is the time usually where you want to be the aggressor with the keeper. This is already a minute delayed. Same as the expansion is only now waddling over. TC's out already. Raider Walker this time, so no mass raider play. Ah, 
Focus's variety in this matchup is just fascinating to me. A little confused what to do with the TC at the moment, I think. <laughs> He got, he got a lot of time now. So he will play with Spirit Link, which I think is really good. And we've seen people like Lin playing mass walkers in this game. A, because they can't get killed, but also because the damage type is good against bears. Just as before, Fasia TC against Mass Dryads, not the big play. Uh, pretty nice kill on the Raider, that's expensive. And of course the tech tree is up, but most imp Oh, it's two kills. Wee! That's a botch creep! But in the end, he gets it, all fine. Viewer in the chat, nickname I love Remo Total God. <laughs> nice. Shop control for the heal scroll. Expo still not mining. And focus soaking up experience. This was very good damage by Colorful. So he turns his early game around, which wasn't his. Oh, show the fight, show the fight, show the fight, show the fight, show the fight. Thank you, TC level 2. Is it Stomp? I haven't seen too much hero focus. <laughs> Creep is going the extra mile, true. Okay, mass hunt's coming. Which... I think it's a double-edged sword. Raider Walker, pretty good against this TC as well. No sign of lore play. It's always lores against this usually. So, we all know that the Bouncing Glades of Hunts are really good and have good AoE. With Spirit Link, you distribute the damage even more. Heal scroll can counter this hard though. Eh, uh, of course. Cancellation, easy. Focus is charging up. Oh my, Devotion Aura is insane against Hunts. Wait, are the Bouncing Glaives reduced as well by more armor? No, right? Actually, I don't know. Is it physical? Really not too sure. TC must have the Shockwave. Greetings! Oh, the Snipe! Focus, literal god! Ejects out of this, kills five whiz, another shockwave, expo gone. Beautiful! Absolutely beautiful! Shockwave chain lightning, man. I'm for a long time a big fan of chain lightning versus night elf wisps. As Wisps have such a big impact in this matchup. And here you saw it. Usually they insta gib only on level 3 Chain Lightning. But here, level 1 Chain Lightning and the Shockwave. Enough! Yo, and Colorful is in trouble. Double Invo Potion. Neat! Okay, no reinforced defenses, which might be a mistake. 
colorful in upkeep already without an expansion. And apparently Focus very willing to take this base trade heads up. This map is so great. 100% agree. Focus has pillage. He's getting gold here. Hunts are all low. I mean, Colorful could try to rescue his base, but then he's losing his army. Three raiders plus shockwave. Hmm. Now a TP home. Uh, how? Where is this game going? Focus has no burrow anymore. No TP either! Fossia, run, 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 run! Spirit Link to the rescue. Great heal wave, heal scroll by Colorful to counter that shock wave, which will come back soon. Very little supply left on Focus, but he was trying to buy time for the rebuild, for the expansion. Oh, with a level 4 TC, that works beautifully. As long as he's not entangled, that Fasia, no, 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 no. Oh my god. A player's forces are under attack. Trying to set up a trap. Can he reach? Oh, there's no mana for entangle. Invo potion. Oh my god. He had, of course, two big invo potions. That Fasia must be somehow, some way safe now. And that kicks the expansion's butt again. And he can't cancel it anymore! Oh, Archer's trailing behind. Needs that damage. Expo up again. The base never fell. A player's forces are under attack. Show the fight, show the fight, show the fight. Thank you. This is not over! This is not over at all. The shockwave still great value. At some point, Colorful won't have heal scrolls anymore. He's just going for the surround because he's realizing there's no TP. Is there a staff? There must be a staff. And he's breaking through that surround by just killing units. Shockwave! Chain lightning! Oh! Ho -ho! TC needs a save. Fastia needs a save. He gets these saves. And Spirit Link turns out to be a blessing. But the army is still so low, dude. <laughs> Great and funny game. WCF happened to that base. Dude, never go away for more than two minutes here in this game. In this series. Post-apocalyptic scene. Yeah, this is like I am legend. <laughs> Nothing happened, just move along. <laughs> okay, so Colorful has to rebuild. Focus has to rebuild. Both are working off an expansion. But army and hero composition clearly in favor of focus, isn't it? Like, yeah, I know. Illune's Grace, pretty nice to have on a tier 1 unit. So Arch is still super cost efficient. But Shockwave Chain Lightning, just too powerful. I am highly entertained. I was really harsh on this matchup for a long time, when it was the only Night Elf Tier 1. But the diversity nowadays... Mwah. Chain wave against Night Elf. That I live to see the day. But, like... I don't want to be too harsh. Are under 
But isn't it kind of idiotic to go mass tier 1 against this style of orc? You're so dependent on stealing heal scrolls. Yeah, you want to switch into my dryads. Exactly! Dryads counter both Fossier and TC. Who's close to five, by the way. Alright, supply lead again with the Night Elf. Heroes are getting real strong. But focus disengages. Very low lumber. But I guess he had to rebuild a lot of burrows, so that's why. Maybe even upgrades. Oh no, he doesn't have a war mill. So, I want to see this game continue for a while. Give me that level 3 shockwave, give me ideally a level 3 chain lightning, and then just murder everything. Not that I'm biased or anything, I just want it for the effect. For this beautiful effect. One kill is level 3 shockwave. Throws it before... Oh! Did he detonate? Maybe a little too early, but... This AoE is way too good, so... Yeah, good luck. Level 3 shockwave. Here we go! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's more. There's of course no demon hunter. The cow can throw these waves and he's getting into a perfect position to wreck all these archers. We're just waiting for the cooldown. Now comes the splits. That was absolutely necessary. And I guess he has to worry a little more about these hunts because colorful. He did get these heal scrolls. These necessary, necessary heal scrolls. Heroes have to carry this and they usually did in these fights, but now he's facing 5-5 five, five heroes as well, double kill! And we get it. But now there's no mana anymore. Focus is losing a ton of units. TC has a mana potion. Uh-oh. What? That chain lightning didn't jump! That was a mistake. Nice to spell. Everybody losing everything. If he waits for the invul... Ah, uh, okay. Heal spray. <laughs> what a slaughter! TC though! Oh no! He dies on level 5! Yikes! Big yikes! Needs the counter kill. Still not sure if there's a staff. If not... No, there's not! <laughs> Both second heroes down! <laughs> this is just a gorgeous game for everybody who's not just the purist but loves the action in-game. Anybody got the resources for... Oh, that shade lightning! Anybody got the resource for a revive? Wait a minute. Focus losing both heroes! Level 6! Tranquility available! I mean, there's raiders. But once he gets out of the fight... Gorgeous. Exactly. Oh, we have to rebuild everything from scratch now. Does Colorful have enough to threaten the expo? I don't know. Dude, the heal scroll purchases. <gasps> careful, careful. No entangle though. Heal scroll again, right? Must be heal scroll. 700 gold for Colorful. Ghost Arena. Thank you for the sub. Slobber knocker. Device style. Neo just wants to see the world burn. <laughs> ah, guys, I see you're with me. Fully entertained. And snare Kansas tranquility. Yes. He's almost back. Is he in time? Oh. Okay, Trank canceled. That was a lot of mana. I think he would have done better. With triads. Focus just holding on to the alive. Waiting for the TC. It's just seconds away. Boom, 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 boom. Quad kill. Man, I love chain lightning to death. 
Here's the cow with mana. Shockwave, baby! Oh boy. He can just... As long as he has mana, he can do this with his heroes alone. <laughs> Double kill again. Yep, he consumed the potion. I think that's the last bit of mana I got. Yeah, he consumed the potion. Maybe the Fossil brought a new one. Can they please show the unit's kill counter on this after the game? It must be in the 200s by now. What about Dryads? Yeah! Yeah! Lord Crystallisus! That's a very valid question! That we ask ourselves for 10 minutes already. Nope. Colorful just refusing. I mean, if you're getting wrecked by spells, the biggest solution is go for units who are spell resistant, but this is also more fun. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Continues to go hunters. Can't believe this. Dryads will be eliminated by raiders. Nah, not on one beastery. Not on one beastery at all. And with good kiting. No way. Focus with the mana potion again. Close to six. Dude, if this cow gets six. Here's Acid Bomb. He goes for the hero, but nah, no chance. Let me see them spell. <laughs> Insane heal spray value, of course, against this. Level 7 on the Keeper. This is the second time in the series where we see a level 7 hero. Here's level 6. Cow is unkillable. And he is distracting from that expo. He's trying to buy time for that cooldown to wear off. Who's getting out of mana first? There's never really a follow-up to that shockwave. Shockwave alone is not enough. He needs a uh, chain wave, but he's rather going for wolves, which makes sense to a degree. Okay, the best thing for focus would be now if the TC dies. Can the end snare reach? Not really. Oh, sugar. So how close are we to transmute? Because transmute wins every game. Okay, it's there. Ching! Late game stages. It's getting so much gold from this. The cooldown for both ultimates on Colorful are so minimal. Invo potion is still available. He's throwing in every single <laughs> wisp he got. Main base is dry for Colorful. Little bit of gold left. But of course, who needs a main base if you have Transmute? TC might actually get killed by Bouncing Glaives and then come back with mana. You can't Transmute Walkers? Really? The TC is trying to die. It's just desperately... Ah, there we go. Okay, this might be a triple kill once he's back. Let's go, full mana! Boom! <laughs> the impact! But okay, that's Tranquility. That was cancelled. There's more! There's more! They're all lined up, waiting for the cooldown. Oh my god, the TC weapon of mass destruction. Another shockwave. That's the Farseer dead, so no more wolves. And a little bit of mana left. Oh, what a slobber knocker. Lines it up again. TC is almost seven. <laughs> new raiders, new grunts. One will be sold. One will be entangled. What an insane game. But units don't really cut it anymore, do they?
but how is Focus winning this without gold? Level 8 on the Keeper. Nice repair. Can he get the Farseer back somehow? No, right? I think... Is the cooldown off? No, GG! <laughs> Colorful wins! One of the best Night Elf vs. Orc games that I have ever, ever seen. And keeps this close. He does. Holy guacamole. Uh, I, th I think there was an error in the execution of Focus that he always waited or he, he waited too long and never really combined Chain Wave, so he never got the kills. But rather, here a Shock Wave, waiting, 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 here a Chain Lightning. If you play it like that, Heal Spray counters you quite hard. If it's not interrupted. And yeah, you can interrupt Wave 2 or 3, you can never interrupt the first one. Best game of 2022. What a game. It was bonkers. Great game. Awesome fights. That was amazing. Nice game. Sick game. Maybe not so idiotic. <laughs> well, in the end, yes. Easy to say. Almost game of the year. Love that game. So sick. We can stop casting Warcraft now. Never! Never, ever, ever. Dude. Oh man, if he combines Chain Wave a little better, I think he got this. But man, the resiliency by Colorful just... Mwah. Now we're going back to Last Refuge. I think we haven't seen the last Shockwave of the day yet. If you ask me. You can stop casting Warcraft now. What an absurd idea. You should know better. <laughs> when do you ever see a level 8 Keeper of the Grove? Would Stomp be better? Maybe as an additional disable. But this was such a scrappy game. He could barely, barely go uh, to the shop. He was under constant pressure. If he gets, if he gets a few more heal scrolls, this is also pretty big. Lots of tiny things that could have won the game. But hey, who are we to complain? It is still match points focus and it's last refuge. So probably talents. Ah, what a cool series. I shall not hate on Orc versus Night Elf anymore if it's played like this. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a rough night with very little sleep and I woke up a little grumpy and very tired but here this is now me wide awake a player's forces are under attack I'm having fun guys are you having fun And it is a Demon Hunter opening, the greatest indicator for a talent play. Focus almost suicided with the creep jack in game one. This is where it all started, but then gathered an absurd amount of map control. And had four heal scrolls on one hero. 
Will there be Creepjack today? Yes, a little later than usual and a little different than usual. I will be playing uh, the re reforge campaign or continue to play the re reforge campaign at 7 p.m. And then two hours later, Florentine will join me for his leak game. All right. If you need a new coffee, if uh, you need to get lunch or something, do it now. This will take some time until the game is in full effect. When everything was ultimately crazy on map 5, this will be a tad slower. Demon Hunter harassing late master. Well, that shop is quite late. But he found the replenishment, so he can still get that HP. Can the Demon Hunter cancel this still? I don't think so. Wait, he got two replenishments? That's a lot of healing. Shop is finished. Tier 2 almost as well. Will he go TC again? Yes, no way Colorful can creep, is there? Two archers down already. This being the second. And this being the third. Yeah, good luck. First map on LR they played, the Night of Hero levels were really high. At the end, 5 4 3 or something. But three archers killed. What a roadblock to Colorful's momentum. Just instantly stopped. Wait, is he playing double attack. beastery again? Hmm. Mass raiders. No dispel against talents. Risky. But okay. He sees that opportunity due to all the archers dead. Or is that a wyvern play? Because there's so little anti-air. I mean, there is anti-air. Guys, I have no idea. I haven't seen a pattern yet with this new variety in this matchup. What orcs are going for and when. Aggressive TC, Raider. Okay, Raider it is. Man, very, very tame early game. Only one level 2 hero, everything else level 1. What time is what both need? But the timing will of course appear earlier. For focus, who's almost online now. Thank you liability for the prime sub. If you have Amazon Prime and didn't use your monthly sub yet, I gladly take that burden off of you. Gonrog, listening, obeying, thank you. So yeah, this is 
such an important map, by the way. If Focus wins, he gets two points. If Colorful wins, he gets... Or both get one point. If Focus wins, he ties with Colorful and Lawlight. If Colorful wins, he's getting closer to Happy and ties with Chimiko. But yeah, this is power play by Focus right now. There's the walker transition. Okay. Okay. That was the play. Putting in more pressure. Killing the talents early again. A player's forces are under attack. Sobi mask stolen. Man, he can't fall back and creep the north. He can't even creep the shop, right? That's how dominant this Raider play is right now. Argentum! Thank you for the 27 month resub. So many people supporting for such a long time, guys. Thank you. Okay, that seems to be a little ambitious. Is he willing to play this? Do we have master training ready? I'm not too sure. Definitely no stomp, no shockwave. Focus. These uh, lab high grounds, they don't seem to be your thing. Raiders can't really connect, taking care of archers first. Now we got level two. Heal scroll only, no inward potion. Shockwave it is, but only hitting one talent. Oh, two talents. And he can't do anything against the blade master anymore, can he? Oh man, focus, that power spike was incredibly well played. Level 3, Tinker dead, two talents taken out. How many raiders can he save is the question, with good blocks? Oh, only, only getting one. Would love to have Entangle now, wouldn't ya? Transfers the Ankh he just found. But that item is gone, as well as another talent. You want talents on the map for as long as possible to make usage of their mana region. And that is not the case here at all. Even the grunts still have value, which is kind of rare at this stage of the game. But Colorful is playing this fight fairly nice. Gets the creeps involved. Oh, hit, 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 hit. Yep. And yeah, that creep spot was too ambitious. On the flip side, focus. Ah, micro mistake. Lol, save. Um, on the flip side, focus was transitioning into late game anyway. With that raider training, etc. So I guess he's fine with that. He took the. Mercenary camp away, and he took the merchant away. And creeping now will be rough for Colorful. This was a fight without an invul. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, focus has to step a bit back. And that is a little time for Colorful, but here we go again. It's straight up hero focus. Level 3 now makes life of the TC a lot harder. The Raiders aren't ready yet. Focus, this are uh, you a little too bloodthirsty. Oh man, what a wild series. Demon Hunter. In focus, trying to get him out. Tinker again. Can the Blade Master reach somehow? If that is a crit. Oh, he's just dead. Again, second time. Focus has a good army. Can go to the shop again. Cyclone was used excessively. A player's force and more creeping. Attack. Level 3 TC. So we mask, of course. Nice. Nice. 
colorful red spot. No, he has some catching up to do. Focus not greedy, not going into upkeep. drums well that doesn't do too much a player's forces are <laughs> they cut you once again for the third time yo this army not only green skins on raiders and grunts but also green hp bars talisman also plus plus item okay man focus army Mint condition. And you should have the potions. Kicking into upkeep. Three production buildings. This will be so fast. <laughs> like a magnet. He's attracted to that tinker. And here we go. Not easy for the, for the Raiders to connect, but for the TC, he can just shoot from the back. He's like an artillery. If he's not high up in the air, but then once he's not, the cooldown is off. Demon Hunter with great burns. Raiders do the damage now. And I feel like the control is not perfect. Level 2 Tinker helps him survive with the engineering upgrade. Now the Raiders connect a lot better. And the TC, does he have a mana potion? That is crucial now reinforcements of course coming in fast and there no tp only an invul can focus hang in long enough ah there was a bit of healing and the burns are so good everything's low focus needs a heal scroll level four he just wants the hero focus but there ain't no hero focus colorful oh my god this fight was so good Always a cyclone, no damage. Focus can't connect. A player's forces are under attack. Engaging there when the raiders were all clumped, and then usually you want three raiders on one talent, and that wasn't possible due to the positioning. And then in the end there was Cyclone, because the mana burns were so good he couldn't do anything against it. The shockwaves didn't hit at all and Focus thinks he has time to creep. My friend, you've rarely been so wrong. Papers and thank you for the tier 1 sub 30 month! Shop gone. It's trying to dive into the bag. All these burrows exposed. Finally getting some berserkers that might be a little late. The player's forces are under attack. And no more dispel. No additional dispel now. Yo, Focus, you're in a world of trouble. Thank you, Stack, for the 14-month reset. Love the shop control. No chance to get an invuln. Until now, maybe? But he's also so broke. One heal scroll. Two heal scrolls on the Beastmaster alone. 3-3-2 three, three, heroes. Focus not giving this up. He knows how important this map is. He had two match points. Shockwave! 
But that was also a very ambitious shockwave. I think he just wanted to throw out the mana before the Demon Hunter burns it. How good is the Raider connection this time? It looks a little better. Heal scroll again, unusable because the heroes are constantly in the air. These talents, they are getting attacked, but still colorful is everywhere. Raiders falling, fairies in, cyclone, also on the berserker, and that one lasts forever. Tremendous game by Colorful. This map started by losing three archers. Three. All the walkers hurt. Is there a moment where the talents have no mana anymore? I guess we're getting kinda close. Then the heroes could raid Supreme TC careful. It's still 45 supply, but it's all red. How different the first map is compared... Uh, this, this map is compared to the first they played. Where it was just focus, 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 focus. And here... Oh, no mana! Late Master Cyclone, that was of course an invite to a beautiful shockwave. Is Colorful a little too stubborn on the heroes? Are the Raiders doing too much damage? Shockwave nicely dodged majorly as well. But this is 12 supply about to fall now. Kingdom for a heal scroll, but he can't get it. Level 3 Tinker. Late Master still intact, but can he heal himself or... Tickle damage from the fairy and the clockwork sealed the deal. 30 supply only. Yeah, he killed 15 supply and there's still three units you can just grab up and it's GG. Colorful ties this up last second. The resiliency by Colorful in this series gets rewarded and the points go to him. Very, very nice series between both these guys. Focus taking the leap with two and oh. Colorful strikes back, gets a slither of hope. Uh, then Focus shuts that one down. Got two match points, but Colorful ain't breaking. He was bending, but not breaking. Man, so close. Another tie in this league. Full distance, beautiful Warcraft, diverse strategies. This puts Colorful at six points, same score as Chemico. Neither did lose a series. Focus one point, surpasses Lin, ties up one to zero, but Lin still has a shot of two points. And that is up next versus Soen. I felt like. Focus was running a little out of steam at the end. This aggression play was a bit too ambitious going into double beastery, double raiders. Maybe that that hurt him more than it worked or than it helped him. But uh, we can't complain. Every single map, very very entertaining. Especially Tide Hunters. Like Tide Hunters, candidate for match of the year. I would say. Alright, guys. I am <coughs> taking another little break, and then we get an Orc Mirror. It is Lin versus Soin. Once again, first to four takes two points. Let's see how that goes. Orc fans rejoice. Be right back. 